Art is a language that transcends cultures and time. It communicates ideas, emotions, and experiences through a visual medium. But what makes a piece of art visually appealing? It's the principles of art that govern the composition and design of a work. The principles of art are the fundamental ideas and concepts that artists use to organize and arrange the visual elements in their work. They include balance, contrast, emphasis, movement, pattern, rhythm, and unity. Whether you're a seasoned artist or a beginner, understanding these principles can help you create more impactful and compelling artwork. In this video, we'll explore each principle in detail, giving you a deeper understanding of how they work and how to apply them to your own art. So, whether you're interested in painting, drawing, sculpture, or any other form of art, stick around and discover how the principles of art can help you create works that are both visually stunning and emotionally resonant. Let's get started. The principles of art are fundamental concepts that govern the composition and design of a work of art. There are seven basic principles of art, and they are as follows. Balance, this refers to the distribution of visual weight in a work of art. It can be symmetrical, where elements are evenly distributed on both sides of the composition, or asymmetrical, where elements are unevenly distributed but still maintain a sense of balance. Contrast, this principle involves the juxtaposition of opposing elements, such as light and dark or rough and smooth, to create visual interest and emphasis. Emphasis, this principle involves the use of elements to create a focal point or draw attention to a particular area of the artwork. This can be achieved through color, contrast, or other design elements. Movement, this principle refers to the use of lines, shapes, and other elements to create a sense of motion or flow within the composition. Pattern, this principle involves the repetition of elements to create a sense of unity and coherence within the artwork. Rhythm, this principle involves the repetition of elements in a regular or irregular pattern to create a sense of movement or flow within the composition. Unity, this principle refers to the overall coherence and harmony of the artwork. It involves the use of design elements to create a sense of oneness and balance within the composition. Understanding and utilizing these principles of art can help artists create visually compelling and emotionally impactful works of art. Balance is a fundamental principle of art that refers to the distribution of visual weight in a composition. It involves arranging the elements of an artwork in a way that creates a sense of equilibrium or stability. There are two types of balance, symmetrical and asymmetrical. Symmetrical balance involves dividing the composition into two equal halves, with each half mirroring the other. This can be seen in artworks such as formal portraits or landscapes where the left and right sides of the composition are the same. Asymmetrical balance, on the other hand, involves creating balance without necessarily having equal elements on both sides of the composition. Instead, the visual weight of the elements is balanced through the use of color, texture, or size. Asymmetrical balance is often used in more dynamic compositions, such as action scenes, where the artist wants to create a sense of movement or tension. Creating a sense of balance in an artwork is essential because it helps the viewer to understand and appreciate the composition. A well-balanced artwork can draw the viewer's eye to all parts of the composition, making it more visually interesting and engaging. On the other hand, an unbalanced composition can make the viewer feel uneasy or disoriented, detracting from the overall impact of the artwork. Ultimately, achieving balance in art is about finding a sense of harmony and unity within the composition, whether it be through symmetry or asymmetry. It is a crucial element in creating a successful work of art, regardless of the medium or style used. Contrast is a fundamental principle of art that refers to the juxtaposition of opposing elements within a composition. It is the use of visual differences between elements, such as color, value, texture, shape, or size, to create visual interest and emphasis. There are many different types of contrast that can be used in art. One of the most common is the use of light and dark values, also known as tonal contrast. This type of contrast is often used in black and white photography, where the use of stark contrasts between light and dark can create a dramatic effect. In color artworks, the use of complementary colors, such as red and green or blue and orange, can also create a strong contrast and sense of visual interest. Contrast can also be created through the use of different textures or patterns. 
For example, rough textures can be contrasted with smooth textures, or organic patterns can be contrasted with geometric patterns. The use of contrast in this way can create a sense of depth and dimensionality in the artwork. Another way to use contrast is through the juxtaposition of different shapes and sizes. This can create a sense of tension or movement within the composition. For example, a large object placed next to a small object can create a sense of contrast and emphasize the difference in size. Overall, the use of contrast in art is essential because it helps to create visual interest and emphasize certain elements within the composition. It can create a sense of drama or movement, and it can also help to unify the artwork by drawing attention to certain areas. When used effectively, contrast can greatly enhance the overall impact of the artwork. Emphasis is a fundamental principle of art that refers to the use of elements to create a focal point or draw attention to a particular area of the artwork. It is the intentional use of visual elements to highlight certain aspects of the composition and direct the viewer's attention to a specific area. There are many different ways to create emphasis in art. One of the most common is the use of color. For example, a brightly colored object placed against a neutral background can create a strong focal point and draw the viewer's eye to that area. Another way to create emphasis is through the use of contrast, as discussed earlier. By placing elements of contrasting values or textures next to each other, the artist can create a visual tension that draws attention to those elements. The use of size and scale can also create emphasis within a composition. Large objects or elements placed within the composition can create a sense of dominance and importance, while smaller elements can be used to create a sense of subtlety or nuance. Similarly, the use of repetition or pattern can be used to create emphasis by drawing the viewer's attention to a specific area through the repetition of certain elements. Emphasis is a crucial element in creating a successful work of art because it helps the viewer to understand and appreciate the composition. By directing the viewer's attention to specific areas of the artwork, the artist can create a sense of unity and harmony within the composition. It can also create a sense of hierarchy within the artwork, with certain elements taking on greater importance than others. Ultimately, the use of emphasis in art is about creating a sense of intentionality and purpose within the composition. It is a powerful tool that can greatly enhance the overall impact of the artwork. Movement is a fundamental principle of art that refers to the illusion of action or motion within a composition. It is the use of visual elements to create a sense of flow and rhythm within the artwork, leading the viewer's eye through the composition and creating a sense of dynamism. There are many different ways to create movement in art. One of the most common is through the use of line. By using lines of different thicknesses and shapes, the artist can create a sense of direction and motion within the composition. Curved lines can create a sense of fluidity and grace, while jagged lines can create a sense of tension and movement. The use of color can also be used to create movement within a composition. Bright, vibrant colors can create a sense of energy and movement, while muted colors can create a sense of stillness and calm. Texture can also be used to create movement within an artwork. Rough textures can create a sense of agitation and movement while smooth textures can create a sense of tranquility and stillness. Finally, the use of repetition and pattern can be used to create movement within the composition. By repeating certain elements within the artwork, the artist can create a sense of rhythm and flow that draws the viewer's eye through the composition. Movement is a crucial element in creating a successful work of art because it helps to create a sense of visual interest and engagement. By creating a sense of motion and dynamism within the composition, the artist can create a more immersive and engaging experience for the viewer. It can also help to convey a sense of emotion or narrative within the artwork, adding depth and meaning to the overall composition. Ultimately, the use of movement in art is about creating a sense of energy and vitality within the composition. It is a powerful tool that can greatly enhance the impact of the artwork and create a more engaging and meaningful experience for the viewer. Pattern is a fundamental principle of art that refers to the repetition of visual elements within a composition. It is the use of repeated shapes, colors, lines, or textures to create a sense of unity and rhythm within the artwork. There are many different types of patterns that can be used in art. Geometric patterns, such as stripes or polka dots, are a common example. 
These patterns can create a sense of structure and order within the composition and can also be used to create a sense of movement or flow. Organic patterns, on the other hand, are patterns that are inspired by natural forms, such as leaves or flowers. These patterns can create a sense of harmony and tranquility within the composition and can also be used to create a sense of depth and dimensionality. The use of pattern can also be used to create a sense of texture within the artwork. By repeating certain textures, such as rough or smooth surfaces, the artist can create a sense of depth and richness within the composition. Pattern is a crucial element in creating a successful work of art because it helps to create a sense of visual interest and engagement. By repeating certain elements within the composition, the artist can create a sense of unity and harmony that draws the viewer's eye through the composition. It can also be used to create a sense of rhythm and movement as well as adding depth and dimensionality to the artwork. Ultimately, the use of pattern in art is about creating a sense of order and structure within the composition. It is a powerful tool that can greatly enhance the overall impact of the artwork, creating a more engaging and meaningful experience for the viewer. Rhythm is a fundamental principle of art that refers to the use of visual elements to create a sense of movement or flow within the composition. It is the use of repeated visual elements to create a sense of pattern or tempo, leading the viewer's eye through the artwork and creating a sense of dynamism. There are many different ways to create rhythm in art. One of the most common is through the use of repetition. By repeating certain visual elements, such as lines, shapes, or colors, the artist can create a sense of continuity and flow within the composition. This can help to create a sense of unity and coherence within the artwork as well as creating a sense of movement and energy. Another way to create rhythm in art is through the use of contrast. By using elements of contrasting values, colors, or textures, the artist can create a sense of tension and release within the composition. This can help to create a sense of rhythm and movement within the artwork, as well as adding visual interest and depth to the overall composition. The use of scale and proportion can also be used to create rhythm within an artwork. By varying the size and shape of visual elements within the composition, the artist can create a sense of progression and movement, leading the viewer's eye through the artwork in a particular way. Rhythm is a crucial element in creating a successful work of art because it helps to create a sense of visual interest and engagement. By creating a sense of movement and flow within the composition, the artist can create a more immersive and engaging experience for the viewer. It can also help to convey a sense of emotion or narrative within the artwork, adding depth and meaning to the overall composition. Ultimately, the use of rhythm in art is about creating a sense of order and coherence within the composition. It is a powerful tool that can greatly enhance the overall impact of the artwork, creating a more engaging and meaningful experience for the viewer. Unity is a fundamental principle of art that refers to the overall coherence and harmony of the artwork. It is the use of design elements to create a sense of oneness and balance within the composition. Unity helps to bring all the elements of the artwork together to form a cohesive and meaningful whole. There are many different ways to create unity in art. One of the most common is through the use of color. By using a limited color palette or repeating certain colors throughout the composition, the artist can create a sense of harmony and balance within the artwork. This can help to tie the various elements of the composition together and create a sense of unity. The use of repetition and pattern can also be used to create unity within the artwork. By repeating certain shapes, lines, or textures, the artist can create a sense of continuity and flow within the composition. This can help to create a sense of order and structure within the artwork, as well as creating a sense of rhythm and movement. The use of contrast can also be used to create unity within the composition. By using elements of contrasting values, colors, or textures, the artist can create a sense of balance and harmony within the artwork. This can help to create a sense of depth and dimensionality within the artwork, as well as adding visual interest and richness to the overall composition. Unity is a crucial element in creating a successful work of art because it helps to create a sense of coherence and harmony within the composition. By creating a sense of oneness and balance within the artwork, the artist can create a more immersive and engaging experience for the viewer. It can also help to convey a sense of emotion or narrative within the artwork, adding depth and meaning to the overall composition. Ultimately, the use of unity in art is about creating a sense of wholeness and balance within the composition.
It is a powerful tool that can greatly enhance the overall impact of the artwork, creating a more engaging and meaningful experience for the viewer. Thank you for watching this video on the principles of art. As we've seen, the principles of art are the fundamental techniques and concepts that artists use to create successful works of art. By understanding these principles, you can gain a deeper appreciation of the artistic process and develop your own skills as an artist. Whether you're a professional artist, a student of art, or simply someone who loves to appreciate art, we hope this video has given you some valuable insights into the world of art. We encourage you to explore these principles further and experiment with them in your own creative endeavors. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more videos on art, creativity, and culture. Thank you again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.